Canberra's latest school funding proposal has sparked outrage and concerns over increased fees. Catholic educators claim they weren't properly consulted, but that criticism has been brushed aside by the minister. Phoebe Bowden reports. It's easy, apparently, to get a degree for free if you're a Turnbull government minister, just like Julie Bishop did today at Adelaide University. But it's more challenging for students facing record high fees after proposed federal funding cuts announced by the government less than 48 hours ago. Some private school fees may be on the rise too under the Prime Minister's new funding deal. I had no inkling that the government would be proposing to freeze funding for 10 years. So that's a really serious situation, I think unprecedented. Ross Fox believes some Catholic schools may even be forced to close. Under the proposal, 24 schools will lose money and 353 face slower growth in funding. Well, we have limited detail at this point, which is just serving to, to drive greater uncertainty in terms of our actual funding for next year. Unsurprisingly, people who didn't get everything they asked for might sometimes complain about the consultation. Oh, wow. While the government yeah. maintains it's a winner for more than 9,000 schools oh, across the country, Labor says the government needs to go back to the drawing board in every state. What Simon Birmingham is doing with his figures is comparing his deep, deep cuts to his slightly less deep cuts and saying, isn't this a great deal for you? The government will launch a new website to help parents and schools work out how much funding is on the table for the next decade. New maths is very, very important. Work harder than maths. Phoebe Bowden, Tano Witness News.